welcome. Uh, this is, uh, you know, we've just started a series on shell scripts uh, for 2017. We're going to be doing a lot of these and we're going to do a lot of short tutorials and build upon them. And today we're just going to look at uh, arrays in a way. We're going to look at just looping through an entire array. So let's go ahead. I'm going to use Vim as my text editor, but as always, use whatever text editor you're comfortable with. And I'm going to start off by using, uh, giving it the shebang line, bin bash. Now, let's go ahead and create an array. So an array in bash uh, is pretty simple. We got to give it a name. I'll just call it array here. Of course, in a real script, you want to give it more of a name that uh, tells you what it is. And here we can give it things like dog, cat, bat, mouse. And that is our array. And uh, we can call it, uh, you know, if we wanted to echo it out, uh, we could do something like this, echo, dollar sign, and then inside uh, these squiggly braces or curly braces, whatever you call it, we'll call array. And then we'll give it the number of the array we want. So we have uh, these arrays here. I'm going to put in one. I'm going to save that. Now it's a shell script. We have to make it executable, give it permission to run. We only have to do this once on our system. Once we do that, we do dot slash. The dot slash, again, just means we're running a script in the current directory, not a system uh, program uh, from our path directory. So let's go ahead and run that. And as you can see, we got cat. Now you might go, why didn't it do dog? Because arrays start at zero as they should. So if we want dog, we can say zero. And of course we can go in there and I'll copy this line and I can do two, one, or two, three, one, oops. Let's go ahead and fix that. There we go. So it should go dog, bat, mouse, cat. If I'm looking at that correctly, run it. There we go. Uh, now let's say we wanted to loop through all of them. We want to do something with each of them. We can do this. Let's go ahead and delete these for the most part. We're going to create a loop, a for loop. So I'll say for and then a variable. You can give it any, var any variable you want. I'm going to go with i. Uh, which I believe stands for integer. We're going to go through each one of these um, things and we're going to go like this and we're going to say in here we're going to give it our array which was array and inside our square brackets instead of giving it the number we're going to say at symbol which just means display all. Actually before I do that let me show you that by itself. So here I'm going to say the at symbol. So instead of echoing a number I'm saying echo at and now if you run this, you can see it prints out all of our array, all four items. But what we're going to do here is we're going to say, okay, for each item in this array, so each one of these, put it in this variable and do something with it. So down here, what we're going to do is we're going to say, do this, and we're going to say done. And that will loop through that. Whatever we put in here, it will loop through. So we're going to say, instead of echo array here, we're going to say echo dollar sign i. Oops. Uh, and what this is going to do is, it's going to, like I said, it's going to loop and it's going to go dog, cat, bat, mouse. So I can do this and run it and you can see it does that. And we can add things to our echo command here. I can say it is a, and when we do this, we'll go through, it is a dog, it is a cat, it is it a bat, it is a mouse. And uh, you know, if we wanted to put a, you know, a little delay on there, we can go sleep, and we can say point zero point two, so uh, just less than a quarter of a second. And you can see now we got a, it, it prints out instead of just displaying them all at once. It just boop, 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 boop. okay. Um, so from here, what we can also do, uh, I want to show you. Let's say I wanted to say little cat. Well. Obviously, I couldn't just go like this, because if I do that, it's going to put little and cat as different items. So you'll want to put those in quotations. And really, it's a good idea to do that, even if you don't have to. I like to put quotations. Sometimes it's overkill, but sometimes it will help prevent errors and mistakes like that. So I don't have to put quotations around all of these, only the ones with spaces in them. Uh, but let's go ahead and run that again, and you can see that did not work. Let's try this. <laughs> Single quotes. I think that will work. Nope. Let's 
try one other thing. Nope. Well, actually, I think I, I realize it now. Let's see if I'm right about this. I should have put quotations around this part. So let's try this again. Let's go ahead and remove all our quotations like this. Well, I guess I could have left those. So we're still going to see cat, little and cat on separate lines here. And now if I put quotations, and I'll explain why that is in a second. There we go. Now we got little cat. So this will divide this up. And again, I can put quotations around each one of these if I want, single or double. Um, and, uh, and they will be separate items in the array. But when we're doing the for loop, the for loop again is looking for spaces. So if we don't put quotations around it here, it's going to see, even though it's passing one item, the for loop's going to see it as two different items. So that was a little mistake on my behalf, uh, easy mistake to make. Again, there are a lot of situations where you don't need quotations, but in most cases, I put them all the time just to be sure. And again, this is one time I didn't do it right here and I should have, uh, and there was an example of a mistake. So let's go ahead and run that again. So again, I don't need quotations around the single words, but it's not a bad idea to have them there. So this is just a quick look at uh, looping through arrays with a for loop. We're gonna build on this as we go on in the future tutorials. So thank you for watching. Please think about subscribing. Uh, if you do like my videos. Also visit my channel, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. There's also a link in the description to my Patreon channel if you want to become a supporter over there. Even a dollar a month is helpful. I appreciate it, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.